Hey folks, Maria Verena here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about doing your research. Now, you guys might not know what I'm talking about. Well, this is basically, I have a Cadillac SRX, and check engine light came on. Yeah, scared the crap out of me because I was a little bit worried about it. But we got code when we did the scan, and the code was P0008 and P0017. Now, hey Pat, nice to see you. Now, my SRX is my baby. It's a 2008. And when the check engine code came on, my son and I were like, mm, let's figure this out. Well, when he did the scan, he found out that it was going to probably be something with the engine timing. It could have been the solenoid, the sensors, the actuator, the timing chain. So I asked him to do a few tests on it, and the solenoids came back negative, and the sensors came back negative. So he told Ma, do your job what you normally do. Go do your research. Find out if there's a technical service uh, bulletin out on it. Guess what? You can't hide anything from me. If it's on the net, I'll find it. There is a technical service bulletin. And this technical service bulletin says it's a timing chain issue to call your Cadillac dealer. My concern was, is it wasn't covered under the warranty. And I found out that if the car was less than 10 years old and it had less than 120,000 miles on it, Cadillac will cover it and fix it for free. And guess what? I only had 91,000 miles on it. So, yes, I don't have to do the timing chain with David. This is phenomenal. A big expense that I was worried about because if Caddy were to do it, it would be over $3,000 for them to fix it. Ouch. Yeah, big ouch. So, like I says, you need to do your research. Go find out things online because it's on the net you can't hide anything on there because you can just google it youtube it uh even wind up if you want you can use my uh research tool that i use you can go to uh dogpile.com and you can it goes through all the search engines and finds anything that you want that's what i usually use to find out anything i need to find out but if you own a 2007 to 2009 Cadillac and you get that check engine code and you get that scan and you get these codes P008 and P0017, you have a time and chain issue. Call Cadillac up and find out if you're covered under their warranty. As long as your car isn't 10 years old and it has less than 120,000 miles on it, Cadillac will take care of it for you and check it up because there are other vehicles at GM that it's covered under two. I know it's my SRX, it's the CTS, and I think it's the STS. I could be wrong on that one. But I got to show you something, guys, because it's covered under warranty and it's going to take them over the weekend to uh, fix because today is uh, Thursday and they may have it done by Saturday but it may not be done till after the weekend if they have to get a part but think about this if I didn't do this research David and I would have had to take the front end apart and change the timing on a V8 I mean on a V6 we done V8s David's done V6, but the newer car models, they're different. They're not like the uh, 1980 and 1990s and 2000. They got more gadgets on it, more electronics on it, more computer parts on it, and if you don't do it right, you can screw up your whole engine. But I want to show you guys the car that Pine Belt has given me. I'm going to switch this around. Look at this baby. Free rental car. I'm 
I'm not much of a driver. Usually David drives me around everywhere. But they told me I was the only one that was allowed to drive this baby. And I says, okay, no problem. You should have seen David holding on to the seat. <laughs> Mom's driving. <laughs> it was funny. But yeah, this car is the bomb. 2017. I got to keep this for the weekend. And I'm going to be test driving this baby. It's an all-wheel drive Cadillac. 2.T courtesy of Pine Belt Cadillac. I'm going to have this car probably for the next two to three days. Maybe four if they have to get a part. But seriously, guys, I love this car. If I'm going to get another Cadillac, I just might trade my baby in and get this. It's sleek. But yeah, do your research. It goes with anything. If you do not know what you're trying to do, guess what? You got two good friends. It's called Google and YouTube. Google it. You want to know how to market your business? How to use Facebook ads? Guess what? Google it, YouTube it. There's always somebody on there that's telling you how to do it. You can learn anything. That's how we found out about the technical service bulletin. So you guys, check it out. Any vehicle that you have, there's always technical service bulletin, recalls. If you have an issue with any of your vehicles, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle it is. Check it out. See if it's out there. Google it. YouTube it. Save yourself some bucks if there's a technical service bulletin. It's all about saving each other from having to spend that extra buck. I'd rather you guys keep it in your pocket if the dealership has to take care of it. And it even goes with any machinery that you have, like a dishwasher, washer, dryer. Check it out because sometimes... There are issues. Hey, Dave. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Pop the engine. Let me show these guys what this engine baby looks like. Yeah, guess what, guys? You're going to get a nice treat. You're going to see this engine, and you're going to see why we don't want to fix this type of engine. Yeah, let me flip it over. Say hi, Dave. What up, everybody? Yeah, baby. Look at this. Those mechanics out there that are dealing with the old cars, you want to fix this, baby? Because I sure as hell don't. I'd rather bring it to uh, the dealership and let them deal with it. There's too many gadgets in here. I'm so used to the simple engines like the V8s, the inlines, less computer parts, carburetors. There's no carburetors like the old ones. Where you can just spray starter fluid in and get it going. Direct injection. <laughs> yeah, this is direct injection, guys. Look at this. Wow. This is something, guys. Can you show them the inside? No. Let me show you the inside. Like I said, do your research. Save yourself a few bucks. If the if company can fix it, better. Look at this. It's a push start. You got the push start button right there. No keys. Sunroof. Leather seats. Shifter. This car is the bomb. Definitely do your research on any item that you own. If it's, you're having issues with it, Google it, YouTube it, see if there's a manufacturer recall warranty. Because my SRX had a technical bulletin 
and I don't have to spend three to four thousand dollars fixing it myself. Caddy's fixing it for me for free. And I get this beautiful baby for the weekend. It looks so nice that I may even decide to trade in my vehicle to get something like this. An upgrade. Yep, direct uh, injection, Pat. It's not like the old ones. I hate to try and fix this baby. I know I would have to get the service manual. Do a little bit on it. I don't mind changing uh, oil. Putting in... Uh, power steering, changing the tires, the rotors. Yeah, look at this. Rotors say Cadillac. <laughs> Listen guys, I'm going to start heading inside my house now and do some more work and marketing. But definitely, share this video. Uh, video to somebody who needs to know anything about cars that are having issues or who want to see this new baby. 2017 Caddy, baby. Gorgeous. All-wheel drive. STT? No, XCT G98. Oh, XCT G98. This baby is gorgeous. Well, guys, have a beautiful day. I'm doing my marketing. Peace out. Have a good one.